What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, so I've had a few people ask me, they've been like, yo, what's up? Gee, um, how can I lose weight? How can I cut? How can I stick to a diet? There's a lot around losing weight. Everyone wants to lose weight these days and no one really wants to gain weight. Everyone just wants to lose weight. So I thought I'd do uh, my five things that have helped me in the past and present to stick to a diet and lose weight. Let's get started. Number one. So. Number one, we're going to start off with sugar-free drinks, right? So, I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, Oh, yo, sugar, sugar-free drinks, they're so bad for you, they're worse than normal drinks. I highly disagree. Anyway, back when I was younger, I would drink a lot of sugar-free drinks, right? I mean, I would, I would drink a lot of sugary drinks, right? So, I'd just drink normal Coke and normal Pepsi and a lot of calories come from liquid that don't give you any nutrients. So, I'm not getting full, but I'm eating a lot of calories. Like, it's just, it's not good. So, what, what I've done is I allow myself to have, you know, one or two or three, like, sugar-free drinks a week. Um, my favorite being uh, Pepsi Max Vanilla. That is the bomb. I drink uh, the sugar-free Pepsi Max, sugar-free drinks, because, I, because it, it satisfies my sugar craving and it makes me feel better and it makes me crave sugar less, so I feel that works for me, and I feel like that could easily work for you too if you're someone that really loves soft drinks or has a sugar craving and could have one of them. Number two, I don't know if you've heard of it, but there's jelly, and then there's sugar-free jelly. Sugar-free jelly, it's like jelly light or something, that has like next to no calories in it. So when I was cutting, um, I would make a bowl of this and just keep it in the fridge because it's got like literally next to no calories in it But it's so good like it is amazing. You can chuck some banana in there some strawberries some blueberries chuck anything in the um, In the jelly make it what you want like it just tastes so good And it's such a low calorie meal for how much volume you get so definitely try that one out because jelly is Jelly is good. All right number three fat burners so there are a lot of things on the market and a lot of supplements, a lot of supplements that claim to burn fat. I think a lot of them can be used to your advantage if used correctly, specifically the ones that have the appetite suppressants in them. So say for fact, I use, I use OxyShred. Um, I don't particularly use it because it's a mad pre-workout or it's going to shred fat on me, but it has a sweet taste and it also suppresses my appetite. So I can take it when I'm feeling, you know, rather peckish or want a snack and it'll, it'll suppress that and I really won't want to eat and because you can have it with a really big thing of water, it's just kind of like having a sugary drink. So fat burners, do your research. There are ones that taste really, really good and there are ones that taste really, really bad. So do your research in that field and yeah, jump on the uh, fat burners because they taste amazing when you find the good ones. <laughs> number four. Uh, number four is going to be nutrient dense meals more frequently. So a lot of people will just go, okay, gotta lose weight. I'm just gonna eat three times a day. I'm gonna have breakfast, lunch, and I'm gonna have dinner, right? So you're gonna have breakfast. Okay, 8 a.m. in the morning or 7 a.m. in the morning, you're having breakfast. Cool, now you've got till 12 or 1 to have lunch. You eat lunch, you've got till 6 or 7 to eat dinner. I don't know when you guys eat dinner, but there's a lot of time between those meals and I feel like you're just gonna starve yourself and it's just gonna be crap and it's just you're just not gonna feel good. So having more nutrient dense meals, rice, mince, beef, chicken, veggies, lots of veggies, like outweigh your veggie to rice and meat ratio. You know what I'm saying? Like eat a lot of good stuff, you stay fuller for longer. It and when you're eating say six meals a day, so you have you know, breakfast, uh, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner, before bed, post-workout. You're having all these meals, you're having them in moderation, but it's also making you fuller and you don't want to crave as much because you're eating a lot of food already. So that's, that's something that I implement every day. That's what I do. I eat six meals a day. I have to. I get way too hungry. So the fifth and final one, simplest one, water. Drink heaps of water like heaps of water personally i drink like four liters a day yeah so i drink about four liters of water a day if you take that into 
perspective, that's a 600ml bottle. I'm doing 4 litres, so that's like, what? That's a lot of things. <laughs> Look, I like fitness, not math. Anyway, drink water. Drink a big glass of water before the meal. Drink a big glass of water during the meal. Drink water between meals. Drink them with your fat burners. Have, like, black coffee, like, just, just stuff yourself with water. And you will stay fuller in terms keeping on your diet longer. Yeah? Quick tip. If you hold a lot of water, drink more water, right? So put it this way, if you drink if you if your body's holding all this water and you drink more of it, your body will then think to itself, okay, I have I'm holding all this water, but now he's or now they're giving me a lot of water. So I can let go some of this. So you will just lose water weight and lose weight just by drinking more water. Science. <laughs> Anyways guys, alright, that is it for this video. I hope you liked my five tips. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, queries, whatever, don't hesitate to comment down below. Uh, make sure you give it a like, thumbs up, I really appreciate that. And let me know what you want to see next. I'm just making videos for fun. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh.